We are following breaking news right now. The chairman emeritus of Viacom CBS, Sumner Redstone, has died at the age of 97. The billionaire media mogul transformed a family-owned business into a global media empire that today is the parent company of CBS2 and KCAL9. Our Pat Harvey has a look back at his incredible career. Sumner Redstone grew up in a Boston housing project, but went on to become a billionaire and one of the country's most powerful media moguls. I think I'm driven to succeed. An academic whiz, Redstone graduated from Harvard College in less than three years, then returned for a law degree. He joined his father's company, which ran a chain of drive-in movie theaters. By the early 80s, he had predicted the end of an era. I would say that by the end of the decade, the drive-in will be virtually extinct and actually a part of America's nostalgic past. Redstone built the company into one of the largest movie theater chains in the country and pioneered the trend of the multiplex. As he was building his business, Redstone suffered a brush with death. He survived a devastating fire at Boston's Compley Hotel by hanging from a third floor window. He suffered third degree burns and permanent damage to his hands. In 1987, he launched a hostile takeover of Viacom, which owned Showtime and MTV. It later merged with Paramount and the CBS Corporation, creating one of the world's most powerful media companies. In 2006, Redstone showed his mettle in the very public firing of Tom Cruise, citing the actor's erratic behavior. I'm in love. After beating prostate cancer, Redstone turned more of his attention to philanthropy. In 2007, Redstone gave $35 million to the Cedar sinai Prostate Cancer Center and $24 million in 2010 to USC's Keck School of Medicine, all for cancer research. In 2013, Redstone gave a $10 million gift to USC School of Cinematic Arts. Directors George Lucas and Steven Spielberg were by his side when the university dedicated a building in his name with two sound stages where students are studying Redstone's legacy in the entertainment industry. And in 2014, he teamed up with business tycoon Michael Milken to make an $80 million donation for fighting chronic disease. Throughout a long career, he described himself as a born optimist with a passion to win.